sad week. Right now, like being a Kenyan is really hard. I tell me what's wrong and why you never said you felt that way. Guess you try to stay strong and fake a smile until I look away. But I've known you too long, it hurts to watch your blue eyes fade to gray as you fade away. hey besties how are you guys doing i'm hoping that you all are doing amazing welcome to another amazing vlog today is on a wednesday 26th of june and yesterday was really a bad day a sad day a black day for us kenyans if you are in kenya you know what happened i was in the village and i was quite under the weather i had a very bad flu i was in the village for the past one week i traveled overnight i was in the house by four nilikuwa hapa so i've just finished taking my breakfast and i want to get out of bed at least i've rested i want to get out of bed first of all change the beddings put everything in order my house is quite clean because i had my in-law who came to clean for me i think it was on monday so the house is not that dirty i just want to do one two three as you know like you know put things in order and all that so i want to start a vlog just to vibe myself up to give myself energy to start up this day and i'm hoping that you all are going to enjoy it you're so so much welcome if you're new here hi my name is ruth and um consider subscribing like this video share me out and also drop a comment in the comment section I'm done spreading the bed. I want to go and take a shower. I've been looking for my gray my gray pillowcases. I'm not seeing them and I don't have energy for that right now. I just want to go take a shower, do some I scrub my face a little. Yeah, you know, and all that. So I want to do some small, small skincare. I'm just scrubbing and washing my face good because I was also under the weather. I had a very bad flu and my nose area was just peeling because of rubbing and all that. I have this duvet here which needs to go to the laundry. I already have um, an outfit of the day. Here it is, just a, a dress, a free dress. Because I just want to relax here in the house and have enough rest, also decompress and everything because a lot has been happening. So let me go take a shower and then I will catch you. I will catch you later. I can feel good and maybe I will also have um, coffee again. Coffee, yeah, coffee because I hate tea. So I will have to have coffee again. I've not entered my kitchen. I'm just seeing it from a find. I'm like, oh no. Hey, <laughs> so I'm going to scrub my face using this uh, turmeric and yogurt um face and body scrub. It's actually face and body scrub. And then after that, I'll just apply this tropical coconut oil that someone recommended. Uh, I want to try it and I'll let you know after a few uh, trials so after this i'll just apply this and then i take my bath as simple as that so i'm gonna scrub my face um i'm i'm going to scrub on a dry face that is what i normally do i don't know if it's 
right or not, but I normally scrub my face on a dry. When it's dry, that's how it looks like. And it smells nice. It doesn't have an awful smell. I've taken my bath and I've not applied anything on my face. It's very dry. I'm feeling that uh, dryness. So I want to go in with this coconut tropical oil. I'm done and I'm set for the day. I, I tried doing this one, but these are not my thing. <laughs> I really tried my best. Yeah, so I'm done, I'm ready for the day. I want to go now clean. I'm not going to clean, I'm going to clean off camera and then I'll see you later. I've not even unpacked. This is how the living room is looking like. The kitchen. Hey, you want to make why you Hey, the sink is full. Hey, what did I make wash? You want to wash wali? Na hiyo siku ni kikupigia simu zunukua na usha viyombo. Eh, explain yourself. Okay. Hiyo ilikuwa juzi. Hmm. Jana, tunakula rice na mbuzi. Nyama ya mbuzi. Hmm. Eh. Na sasa, kalala black water down. Mulijua na kuja muku usha viyombo. <laughs> Apana. Na siyoshi. Mdo muna ziyosha.
since come one in a dozen The other eleven get something from nothing I sit here looking for an answer Maybe the biggest question was in the last chapter You gave me the... Done the most, especially in the kitchen At least my house is now spotless It's clean and it's smelling nice I had to to light that Even it's off This one These are scent stick you can get it from the supermarket at only 70 bob it makes your space smell so nice if you don't have those uh, expensive and everything <laughs> those perfumes so yeah i uh, already made some lunch these are just eggs with ugali i want to sit down eat and then relax at least i'm contented i'm tired but i'm contented as long as my house is clean i'm in a clean environment conducive environment I'm good, so let me go have my lunch and then rest. Life lessons come one in the dozen. The other eleven get something from nothing. Life lessons come one in the dozen. The other eleven get something from nothing. Life lessons come one in the dozen. The other eleven get something from nothing. Life changes just open the door. One thing certain, I'll always be
this i want to wind up this vlog and edit it and again i'm thinking if i'm gonna upload it this week or next week today's on monday first of july definitely we are on um new month and happy new month besties i'm hoping that you are trying the last month especially the last week of last month was so so hectic it was so draining it was a sad week it was a black week where we lost our friends a lot has been happening and right now like being a kenyan is really hard i say being in kenya right now is hard but what will we do we are just praying that everything comes to an end everything is gonna be solved everything is gonna be rejected because we, we like everything is gonna rejected those people who must step down must do so so that at least we can now feel safe in our own country so uh, i want to edit this video and see if i will put it up on wednesday or the next week of this month which happens to be the second week of july but i wouldn't want to start the month without a vlog that is just me so i'm going to figure it out after i'm done editing and everything last week i tried to keep myself busy by creating and all that i was at least trying to avoid the media platform because they got everything and again avoiding or just like break from everything at some point you feel like you are you are what is it called you are neglecting your country but you just have to so at least you take care of your men mental health and everything so i want to put up this vlog i don't know i'm going to think about it it has been so so bad we have lost friends we have lost neighbors we have lost relatives we have lost our young children our brothers our sisters it has been so so bad and i've been praying i've really been praying so hard to go that we just wake up and everything is back to normal because our life right now it's just in a standstill like you cannot do anything i'm telling you i'm editing this vlog and again i'm like do i upload it because you just feel like you are doing things at the wrong time like you want to put up something you want to market something and then you're like it's not it cannot it doesn't make sense it's not going to count like you feel like you're neglecting your own country like that those people who are stepping out to go protest running the streets wengine wanakutana na bullets some are being hurt some are dying and then you're like me doing all this thing i feel like i'm i'm neglecting my country people i'm neglecting my country but we just have to so yeah that is what has been happening if you're not in kenya i, I know you have been seeing this especially the last last week yeah especially last week oh my god like when i sit down and i think of those images that i've been seeing people shot like just a kid shot like amekula eight bullets and then is they don't have even humanity in them we want doesn't think even of their families before they they shoot someone they don't think of their wives their husband their parents and everything they don't they just like like Hawananga Uruma, I think it's something that they, they, they are being trained about because shooting someone, a very innocent soul, someone who doesn't have any, like, mutuana protection, and then you're just throwing guns. That is what has been happening in our country, and I'm, I'm praying that this thing comes to an end so that we can go on with life in a normal way. Right now, we just have fear. We are traumatized like you know we are like we are typing rest in peace champ but the people who are affected like if it's a son or a daughter the parents you know how are they feeling about it and then this the so-called our president he's talking anyhow like yesterday was it yesterday that he was being interviewed by the media he was just talking anyhow and they're like this this man this man he begged us to vote for him and some of us some of you guys did and right now we feel like we can just grab him and like to munyonge like we just <laughs> do away with him but anyways i'm just telling god that this thing comes to an end like we need our country to be peaceful a very safe place to be a very like you can you enjoy being in your country you are so proud of your country and everything so we are praying personally i'm just telling god that this thing at least it will come to an end it's a new month we are 
praying for the best we are hoping for the best we have plans we have things that we 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 did not accomplish last month because of what happened and everything we have a lot going on so i hope this comes to an end so that our life will go back to normal anyways guys i really appreciate you for watching this video um I will see if I'll put I will put it up on Wednesday because I've heard that tomorrow, which is Tuesday, date two, we still have um, demonstration and everything. But if you get time, you can decompress with this vlog, and I hope that you'll we'll enjoy it. If it's your first time here, hi, my name is Ruth, and here we just do lifestyle and homemaking. Um, I will really appreciate if you subscribe, you like, you share, and also you drop a comment in the comment section. Love you, besties. Take care. Just know that you are. Life is so important that this financial bill, whether it a pass, whether it a rejected, or whether it a amended, just keep in mind that your life is so precious. Uh, before doing anything silly, let me just call it silly. Think about your life. Think about your parents, your siblings, your wife, your husband, your children. Like just think about your your. Like, just think about, generally, just think about your life, okay? So, I'll be seeing you on our next one. Just remember to stay real and also keep peace.